Now, the River State Government has held a stakeholder meeting on the Contributory Health Protection Program for local health care providers. State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Adeze Ore, emphasized the program's importance in achieving universal health care coverage and providing financial protection for vulnerable populations. She acknowledged the program's approval by the Governor, Sinelai Fubara, and its significance for the people of River State. We realize that there are gaps in knowledge, understandably. And when Dr. Betty said that there would be a need to have this kind of sensitization forum, I was happy to throw my weight behind it. But I will crave all of us with this call to action. The River State Contributory Health Protection Program is our program. And when I say our, I am not speaking about River State government. I am speaking about the people of River State, citizens, residents, business people in River State. Collectively, we can make it work. It cannot work if we don't put hands together to ensure its success. The success that we experience in these facilities accessing this program is what will translate to more people voluntarily enrolling and getting on board with this program. On her part, the acting executive secretary of the program, Dr. Verti Agala, noted that the Basic Health Provision Fund is one of the plans for the poor, vulnerable people, pregnant women, persons living with disability, among others. What we want people to know is that the Basic Health Care Provision Fund is one of the plans that the River State Contributory Health Protection Program is implementing. And that plan is for the poor and the vulnerable people in our society. And they include pregnant women, people living with disability, widows, children under five, um, adults over 60 and even some people with some chronic illness like HIV, sickle cell because we have engaged with those sets of people and we found that there is a gap and they need uh, to assess care for other things that are not already paid for. We also want people to know that this health insurance in Riverside is not just for poor and vulnerable people. Civil servants both at the LGA level, both at the state level, can also assess it through the formal uh, sector plan. And that we are already working out. Before the end of this year, God willing, we'll be able to enroll our civil servants to assess care. Dr. Galawa was causing various packages available for civil servants and local government employees in the state, emphasized that individual residents can also enroll, provided they meet the necessary requirements. Dr. Giwa Abdo, the state coordinator for the World Health Organization in River State, assured that technical support and training will be provided to healthcare providers at all levels. For the bold step of uh, establishing and implementing the basic healthcare provision fund, uh, which is known to be one of the most cost effective healthcare interventions. Another giant stride that um, His Excellency has taken is the uh, subsidy for the vulnerable population of the elderly, pregnant women, children, and other vulnerable groups, which we all know that is one of the most um, cost-effective healthcare interventions with a uh, high impact. For us in WHO, another partner's training is one of our core mandates, so we'll be willing to be part of training to all levels to give our technical support. Those in the informal sector, you don't work for anybody, you work for yourself, you own a small company, whatever, you too can assess healthcare. We have packages that are corporate for companies, but we also have individual packages of 15,000 Naira. So a regular person who does his uh, market or a driver, you can buy a plan for 15,000 per year and assess all the health services that are common to us in our environment, including maternal and child health care services, including hypertension, diabetes, all of the regular things that our people are sick of. Of course, we have a few exclusions, but very, very few people get to that point. And at that point, sometimes we do what we call a co-payment. We find other ways 
to fund that, uh, not from this scheme. So far, we have 36,588 persons across the 23 LGAs of River State. And access to care um, started on the 1st of June for the first set of people that we enrolled. This second batch of people will start assessing care on, uh, from the 1st of September. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.